One of the things that we are trying to push the technology trajectory towards and also the way we build these products is to be a tool for humans, an amplifier of humans. Artificial intelligence, AI, has swept the globe. It has been interwoven into numerous businesses and has transformed the way we live. However, like with any new technology, there are always concerns regarding its long-term viability. Is AI a passing fad or is it here to stay? And what does this mean for you? Stay tuned to find out. To answer the question, is AI here to stay? Let's go back a few decades to the Industrial Revolution, which lasted from 1760 to 1840 and resulted in a technological revolution in business. Automation and machinery took away jobs, and the world as we knew it was irrevocably altered. With the benefits of hindsight, it's fascinating to see how early skepticism was overcome and how technologies produced during this time period rocketed our society into our current way of life. The assembly line, internal combustion engine, and telephone were initially criticized as the Industrial Revolution advanced. And objectively, they were reasonable concerns. Machines and industrialization were displacing people and even eradicating entire professions, but it isn't easy to fathom life before this technology. AI, and indeed the computing age as a whole, is causing the same paradigm shift adjustments in the modern workplace. We've progressed from the advent of personal computers to a hyper-connected civilization in around 50 years. Everyone, including primary school children, has a smartphone. You have more processing power on your wrist than NASA utilized to send astronauts to the moon. We've come a long way in a relatively short period of time. I recall playing Frogger on a 5.25-inch floppy disk with my Commodore 64 as a kid, feeling that we were so technologically advanced that alien first contact was inevitable. Maybe it still is. But currently, AI has affected major careers and departments. The rise of AI society is now staring down the barrel of artificial intelligence, and it will be interesting to see where it leads. I've heard some folks say that they believe AI will be the next dot-com bubble and will fail. Perhaps they are correct. Right now, you can find more AI startups than you can count, and the truth is most of them will fail. But just as online commerce is here to stay, so will artificial intelligence. This is currently happening in the restaurant and customer service industries. Chatbots have been supercharged, and you may not even realize you're conversing with a robot. And I don't think it will be long before the only job opening at McDonald's is robot service technician. Examine the Air Force experimental simulations of AI-piloted drones. They created a dummy AI drone that was designed to find and destroy surface-to-air missile SAM sites in order to test the hypothesis that AI would be able to do tasks like search and destroy without the need for human intervention. In the scenario, their failsafe was that a human operator might override the drone's judgments. Long story short, in a scene straight out of 2001, A Space Odyssey, the AI pilot went rogue in its quest to complete the mission. Perceiving the human operator as a barrier to the destruction of the SAM site, the AI suddenly terminated them in order to stop them from overturning its decisions. When the AI was reprogrammed to avoid this, the AI destroyed the command relay satellite. In the absence of a no order from the human operator, the AI drone proceeded to bomb various SAM sites. For what it's worth, the Air Force has openly denied the existence of such a simulation or experiment, as expected. Whether it happened or not, the reality remains that we are, and should be, concerned about artificial intelligence. Whether you believe AI will revolutionize our civilization, or usher in the singularity the development of artificial sentience, and the robot revolution, law enforcement should be cautious in its use of AI technology. Is this to say that we should avoid AI entirely? Not at all. But the old saying, trust but verify, is most appropriate here. The truth is, AI is intended to help us rather than replace us. The idea that artificial intelligence would eventually replace human labor and take over our jobs is one of the most widespread fallacies about the technology. However, this is not the case. AI is being developed to supplement our abilities and make our lives easier rather than to replace us completely. For example, AI can assist humans in more efficiently processing vast amounts of data, freeing more time for us to focus on higher level activities. 
In fact, many experts anticipate that AI will generate new jobs and industries rather than eliminate existing ones in the future. Remember how everyone is freaking out about self-service checkout? The notion that technology will eventually replace humans is not new. When self-service checkout machines were initially introduced, there was a similar fear that they would fully replace cashiers. This, however, did not occur. Instead, self-service checkout devices were employed to supplement the labor of human cashiers, making their jobs more efficient and freeing them up to focus on customer service. AI is merely a tool. A tool is neither good nor harmful in and of itself. It all depends on how you use it. A hammer, for example, can be used to build a house or to smash a window. Similarly, artificial intelligence, AI, can be utilized to better our lives and solve complicated problems, or it might be used to hurt us. It is our responsibility to ensure that AI is used for good and to put safeguards in place to prevent it from being exploited for evil. By working together, we can guarantee that AI is a beneficial force in our environment. It, like other tools, can be used for good or for evil. But in the end, we will be the ones who decide how AI is used. We get to pick how AI is used and ensure it isn't just some Skynet scenario. Instead of being afraid of AI and believing we're in an episode of Black Mirror, let's embrace it and use it to help us grow. And to answer the question, is AI here to stay? Well, the answer is yes. AI, scientists say, is here to stay. And with this information, here's how you can stay ahead of the curve by investing in AI. There are numerous ways for investors to try to ride the AI wave. We anticipate three major effects of AI on the investing landscape. The first is direct AI investment. You can invest in firms that create and distribute LLMs and other productivity-enhancing AI solutions. Companies such as Microsoft, Alphabet, and Adobe have made significant investments in the field and are scrambling to incorporate AI into many of their products. Microsoft, for example, is integrating AI into their Office suite, while Adobe is integrating AI into image editing and image generating. Alphabet and Microsoft are each working to incorporate artificial intelligence into their search engines. The tough issue about investing in AI in this manner is that, while AI is interesting, it is only a small part of what some of these giant software businesses do. Investing in these companies is not a pure AI play. On the other hand, a few companies are solely focused on AI, but most do not yet have actual earnings, and their share prices have been quite erratic. Second, you may be a part of the AI transition by investing in the semiconductors that fuel the processing. Right now, it appears that NVIDIA is the apparent leader in graphics computing and AI computing, and their stock price has recently reflected this. Still, they will face competition in the future. AMD has extensive experience in the graphics industry and is well aware of the transition in data center demand toward more AI-intensive computing. Intel will also be a player, albeit it appears to be less agile than NVIDIA or AMD. Aside from direct AI computing, Data centers will need to invest heavily in network technologies, such as those provided by Broadcom and Marvel. Third, search for organizations where AI will significantly improve their business strategy. While AI will most certainly boost productivity at many levels, the real advantages of AI will come not from productivity growth, but from process automation or deep data analysis that improves margins. To put it another way, the significant gains for AI will come from getting better results from your own databases, not from having staff work more. For example, using AI to make faster and better loan choices could result in a bank increasing its loss ratios or enhancing its capital efficiency. If done correctly, using technology to speed up and improve the underwriting and issuing of insurance contracts might be highly profitable. We could go on and on about other efficiency scenarios. Still, the main message is that massive, high-quality data sets and repetitive operations give the potential for further AI integration. Finally, the AI wave is only getting started. While AI has the ability to automate specific tasks, it is unlikely to replace human workers completely. AI is currently restricted in its capabilities and cannot mimic human workers' complicated problem-solving and creative thinking. Even in businesses where AI can automate jobs, it is more likely to supplement rather than replace human workers. Self-checkout machines did not replace cashiers, and AI is unlikely to replace human jobs in the future. Well, that's it for today. 
If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate the support.